In our previous video, we have learned the concept of rupee cost averaging through SIP. A fixed amount gets invested on the set date in the given mutual fund. There is a minor drawback in this too. Say for example, if the investment date set is 0 to of every month, but during the last one year, the NAP on the given date always remains higher than the rest of the dates. In this case, the returns might be comparatively less. Since, it, since it's beyond our control, the returns earned are less in this approach. Access schemes can be done in systematic investment plan format. SIP can be monthly, quarterly or yearly. Some mutual funds allows daily SIPs also. Monthly SIP is always advisable compared to quarterly or yearly. Since the market is, remains volatile in the near term, a monthly SIP helps in averaging. Averaging in time helps SIP to give or deliver more returns compared to quarterly or yearly investment. Considering the monthly SIP starting from 10th January 2000, here we will understand when the money will be unlocked if we invest in SIP format into ELSS. First SIP invested on 10th Jan January 2000 will remain locked till 10th January 2003 that is for 3 years. The units allocated on 10th January 2000 will be eligible for redemption on or after 11th January 2003. The returns will be tax free. The amount may stay invested even after 3 years. Second step invested on 10th February 2000 will remain locked till 10th February 2003. The units allocated here on 10th February 2000 will be eligible for redemption on or after 11th February 2003. Here also the returns will be tax free and the same continues for the rest of the SIPs. SIP investments into ELSS schemes can be of two types, either a growth scheme or a dividend scheme. A dividend scheme is the one in which the fund pays a dividend from time to time to the investor. The dividend received is tax free. A growth scheme is the one in which the fund reinvests the dividend back into the scheme itself, enabling growth on the dividend received. In the long run, NAV of growth schemes is always higher than the dividend schemes. Here are top three ELSS schemes as on 23rd December 2016. It displays the last five year performance video. First scheme has delivered 20.8% CAGR in the last five years. The scheme is ranked one in ELSS category by Crystal. The second scheme has delivered 21.6% CAGR in the last five years and it is ranked as two by Crystal. Whereas the third scheme has delivered 20.1% CAGR in the last 5 years and this scheme is ranked 3 in the ELS, ELSS category. The scheme that got rank 1 by Crystal has delivered less returns but it has great potential to give more returns than the rest of two schemes for the year 2017. To know the fund name and portfolio of the same or to open a new SIP, you may contact or WhatsApp at 9769321013. If you want to open a new SIP, you can contact me at the number and email ID provided here. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. 
please read the offer document carefully before investing.